Making progress and unlocking items in any game can be fulfilling for any gamer. But if you can't save your progress, all of that time and effort can be for nothing. In PCSX2, the PlayStation 2 emulator, there's a couple of ways in which you can do it. And today we're going to be looking at both of them. There are two ways of saving games within PCSX2. One is via the virtual memory card and the other is via save states. Using the PCSX2 virtual memory cards, you'll be playing exactly as you used to do on the PlayStation 2 console, saving your game progress at set points throughout the game. You're also able to access the PlayStation 2 BIOS to manage these saves. You can also manage and swap out these saves using third-party software. There's a full video on how to do this on the channel and I'll leave a link to it in the card above, video description and a pinned comment. The other method is by using a save state, and you can do this at any time, you're not restricted to limited areas within your game like you normally are. To do this just press escape on your PC keyboard, press save state and then select a slot. You can also assign a hotkey to bypass this menu and save even quicker. Also let's say you were to accidentally close the virtual machine, you'll be prompted if you want to make a save state before you actually exit. The save state will keep your game at the exact point of where it was. So when you go to launch the game back up again, if you right click on the game's cover, you'll be presented with various boot options. Default boot being whatever you've set up within PCSX2's main settings. Fast boot, which bypasses the PlayStation 2 startup screen and goes straight to the publisher and developer logos. And full boot will play this startup screen. You'll also see load slot, and this will be any save states that you've made. Clicking on that will take you straight back to where you was. You can also delete these save states by pressing delete save state and then confirming your choice, yes or no. Using both has its advantages. Use a memory card to keep your game progress and any unlocks that you might have, as well as if you want to swap out the saves and use a save state if you just want to save quickly. Save states are also useful if you want to make a temporary backup of where your virtual memory card has saved the game. While save states can bypass certain saving restrictions, there's also a limited number of slots that you can use. So that's it for saving games within PCSX2. If this video was helpful, give it a like. If you've got any questions about saving a game, drop them in the comments below and I'll try to answer it as best as I can. Either way, let's open up the discussion. There'll be more guides coming soon within PCSX2 and emulation in general, so stay tuned if it's something you're interested in.